heart of hell, center of hell I prayed alone in my room, then the Lord Jesus took my spiritual body to hell, walking alone in hell and seeing the devil walking here and there still made my heart beat fast even though it was the umpteenth time I entered hell, the voice of the Lord Jesus told me to go in and walk deeper, I found myself in the body and heart of hell, in the middle of the body was a descending path, the Lord Jesus told me to follow that path, after walking on it, I arrived at a place that was shaped like a volcanic crater, like a well in which there was boiling liquid bubbling, the liquid was not clear but like a brownish green snort, like a swamp, there was also a reddish brown color, like the color of veins, this place was the hottest in hell, the most smelly, making me feel so nauseous that my physical body felt hot and sweaty, the Lord said, this place is the heart of hell or the center of hell, I heard clearly the words of the Lord Jesus, in front of me, I saw people who were tied together in pairs, men with men, women with women, they were positioned back to back, the people were hung up, then slowly lowered into the crater well, as soon as their feet touched the boiling liquid, they screamed and reeled in pain, and called on the name of the Lord Jesus begging for forgiveness, their bodies were slowly lowered and also slowly lifted out, when they were lifted out, their bodies melted like wax, their skin peeled, then their flesh and their bones melted slowly from toe to head until they were all gone, slowly their bodies grew back, just as before, then they were lowered back into the crater well, melted again until their bodies were gone, then their bodies grew back again, and so on. The punishment was continuous, there was no end, the Lord said, this punishment is for gays, lesbians, homosexuals and transgenders, if they don't repent until the end of their lives, they will come to this place, even though they have claimed to be my children and believed in me. Leviticus 18 verse 22 colon do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman, that is detestable, Leviticus 20 verse 13, if a man has sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman, both of them have done what is detestable, they are to be put to death, their blood will be on their own heads, my physical body felt very weak, my ears hurt hearing people's screams, my stomach felt nauseous, my body was sweating and felt hot, I could not bear it any longer, I felt weak and limp, after waking up, I looked in the mirror and saw that my ears were red as if I had been sunbathing, I prayed alone in my room, while praying and speaking in tongues, I was again taken by the Lord to the heart of hell, again, I was in that place alone and only heard the voice of the Lord from above, the place was the hottest, the smelliest, and many demons walked back and forth, the Lord told me to look at the heart of hell, there I saw places like prison cells in which one person was being punished, there was no demon guarding the cells, I looked from outside the cell and noticed things moving on the walls of the cell, it turned out that the walls were filled with maggots or very small worms, in the middle of the cell was a person who was stretched out, bound by his hands and feet, slowly the small worms crept on the body of the person, right in the genitals, and they began to bite, blood gushed out and flowed, curdling screams of pain could be heard in every cell, that person was a man, once the genitals have been gnawed to nothing, they regrow and became whole as before, they were then eaten away again to nothing, grew back again, eaten away again, continuously without end, in the next cell was a woman who was stretched and bound by her hands and feet, the cell walls were filled with small worms, the woman's body was slowly covered by small worms, right in the genitals and chest, and began to eat away, blood gushed out and flowed, screams of pain began to sound, asking forgiveness from God, the Lord only said, it's too late, when you were in the world you were given the opportunity to repent, but you didn't take that opportunity, the Lord explained to me that these cells were specifically reserved for people who liked to play with their genitals, who committed adultery, sexual sin, was a mistress, a prostitute, people who went to brothels, who were not loyal to their partners, cheating, and other sexual sins, including free sex, all sins related to genitals, if you don't repent until the end of your life, even though you confess to believe in the Lord Jesus and know him, you will be put into the most terrible place, hell, where the worms will never die. The punishment will never stop, 
I continued to walk around looking at each cell with the same punishment, each cell was filled with one person. The cells were alternately filled with men and women, so one cell was filled with a woman and the cell next to it filled with a man, next to that filled with a woman, and so on, there were millions of cells there, I returned to the heart of hell for the third time, I stood in front of a large well in which there was boiling liquid, when I was about to walk further, I was suddenly stopped by a huge vision playing like a huge movie screen, there I could see a group of people praying, speaking in tongues, doing spiritual warfare, they were praying to drive out evil spirits and many evil spirits did come out of the place but unfortunately since they only prayed saying, go out all evil spirits to drive them away, the evil spirits or demons left, but they just moved to another place, after that I saw people praying for deliverance on someone only by speaking in tongues and saying, go, I command evil spirits to leave this person's body, the evil spirits left, but they just moved to another place, some were even walking around, as if the prayers of these people do not have the Lord's authority, after that I saw people praying and speaking in tongues saying, all evil spirits are bound, and are burnt with fire from heaven, and I saw every evil spirit destroyed, right beside me. I saw ash entering the deep well of boiling liquid, then creepy creatures emerged from the well, they were not little creepy creatures, but rather huge creatures with wings and horns, sharp nails and red eyes, they came out of the well to be bound and cast to the very tip of hell where they were shackled and would not be able to get back into the world, the Lord explained to me that what he wanted was not just a people speaking in tongues and casting out demons but actually a people whose words have his authority, words that come out of a sincere heart, full of the authority and faith in the Lord Jesus, people who truly believe in the Lord Jesus who take every thought of unbelief captive, the Lord was sad and said that many churches of God have lost the anointing of God, the authority of God, some do not even believe in the work of the Holy Spirit, namely the Spirit of God himself, many do not believe in the language of the Spirit, even though all the words of the Lord, every word of the Lord has been written, in the fourth time the Lord has taken my spiritual body to the heart of hell, I was alone in this place, only the voice of the Lord led me to walk around to see the place, after seeing the cells where I had visited yesterday, I then walked to the very end, there was a large hallway and I saw many, countless, very large and creepy creatures, they were winged, horned and have epaulette marks on the right and left shoulder, unlike soldiers in the world whose mark is attached to a shirt which can be removed and washed, the devil's rank is one with his body, some are like protruding bones, some are like boils, burns, or mucus liquids that stick, and some are hairy, as I was observing the place, a huge vision appeared before me like a movie, I saw many people dressed in black, mostly young people, teenagers who were partying, drinking and doing free sex, after that, they said prayers in a language I didn't understand, it sounded like Latin, after they prayed, one of them said the word Satan, then a big devil came out of his cell, his chains came loose and entered into churches that were spiritually dark, where there was no anointing of the Lord, there were also demons that roamed the streets, making people suddenly have accidents because their minds were made empty especially those who have no sign of ownership of the Lord Jesus, or those who have a sign of ownership of the Lord Jesus but had allowed a gap to happen through the committing of sin, other evil things that Satan does are as follows, 1, make people lose their memories, their minds taken and given to Satanists as sacrifice, 2, make aborted babies as sacrifices, the more sacrifices gained, the many more large demons are released from the shackles and come to the place of worship, therefore, it is necessary for us as children of God to pray much so that we are always protected by the blood of the Lord Jesus. God wants us to be close and intimate with him, after that I walked to another place that looked like a corridor or a big cave, I saw a throne that was dark and creepy, there was a huge creature, half an animal and half a creepy creature's body its tail was long, the tip was like a spearhead, its eyes were bright red, I also saw an animal resembling a large black greenish snake, I was afraid to see them and tried to calm down, because there was a voice of the Lord that said, do not be afraid my dear, they cannot touch you, because you are surrounded by my glory,